Okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome to another one. Today is the Tears of the Kingdom launch day. So I'm going to film on my way there, see all the people in line, if there are people in line, and pick up my collector's edition. Got my Tears of the Kingdom shirt on. Let me check out the back. You can check out the back of it real fast. I got it yesterday. So pretty cool. So like I said, on my way down there, I figured I'd film the before leaving the house, kind of make it like a vlog style of uh, me picking it up and getting my goodies. So hopefully everyone out there is getting theirs. I ordered my Amiibo uh, through Best Buy, so that is coming separate. That should be coming today also through, uh, like I said, through Best Buy. Picking up the game from GameStop. I have a buddy who works there. So looking forward to that. It's going to be an awesome day. So let's get this vlog started and check out all the goodies that I pick up along the way. Okay, so here I go. I'm on my way down to go get the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait. On my way, walking down there now and to see if there's any crowds. Yesterday we stopped by another GameStop. They were doing a midnight launch and there was about... I would say 50 to 60 people there. That's pretty big for this area. And they're doing no midnight launch here. So we'll see how the crowds are in this one, if there are crowds. But I was glad to see a bunch of people hyped up for the game. Always good to see people enjoying a video game series that is going to be, that is great. So I can't wait to see the hype here. Okay, let's continue on. So far, I've stayed away from all the spoilers. The only thing I've seen is some reviews. Didn't even really watch the reviews because I didn't want to get spoiled with anything. So I just watched the score, but it looks like it's getting fantastic reviews. So can't wait. The hype is big for this one. Just so everybody knows, it's freezing outside. So under my t-shirt, I'm wearing a little long sleeve flannel or not flannel well warm shirt at least to keep me warm okay so as you see I got here early no line actually I am here outside the GameStop should open up in about 30 minutes so definitely excited to pick it up awesome you're picking up the new Legend of Zelda right yep. what do you, what's your favorite Legend of Zelda game uh, well, I actually started in playing Zelda in 2017 at Breath of the Wild, so probably... Breath like of the that. Wild, okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, you're really hyped for this one, right? Yeah, I've been waiting, you know, ever since 2019 the trailer dropped, so I'm excited. Awesome. What's your name? Uh, Mars. Mars. Hello, Bill. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm back from GameStop. Got my pre-order for the Collector's Edition. Got to say before I start, the uh, line was, I was the first one in line. Wasn't a huge line. There was only a few people when I first got there. But people started trickling in after it opened at 11 a.m. So there was some hype, but people ran in last second. So I guess there wasn't like a really mad dash for getting the game, but it was pretty cool. Get this wooden plaque from GameStop, so I'll show it off closer up. And here is the bad boy itself, the collector's edition for Tears of the Kingdom. So, without further ado, sit back and let's get a closer look at it. So here it is, here is everything that I got. The collector's edition box, and the wooden plaque that came from GameStop. I knocked over the little stand I have been on. Show it off, but there is the wooden plaque. Pretty nice. You definitely can smell the uh, lacquer that they use when you open up the package. Pretty strong. And this is the little card that came with the wooden plaque. The venture is yours to create a world filled by your imagination. Discover new ways to save and transform Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game only for the Nintendo Switch. So there's the little card that came with inside. And the plaque, and it looks like there's no way to really hang it. So I'll figure out how I'm going to display it. But it is a little cool little wooden plaque. 
And now for the goodies, let's check out this here. Let's get this out of the way. Back it up a little bit. And got to be really careful opening this up. So we don't want to damage anything. I've already opened the flap. Let me just get it up here. I think I got a little dust on it. It's a little dusty. That's not from my game room. Just a little dusty. Okay, so finally got it open carefully there without damaging the flap. Right, let's see what's in here. When it's all hugging tight, which is good, I guess. First off, let's take a look at the uh, box. Sorry, knocked the camera a little bit. There's front of the box, side of the box, back of the box with the uh, cool logos this, of the hieroglyphs. So pretty cool. Now, let's see what we got in here. We got a card, instructions, Kind of telling you the instructions about the poster and stuff, the adhesive. So be careful with the adhesive that's holding it. Interesting. Never seen them do that before. Kind of give you a warning. I guess people kind of warn people so they don't damage their collections. Pretty interesting. Opening the first box, and I believe this is the uh, they call the metal poster you can hang on the wall And I'll hang this up later on So there is that I don't think there's anything underneath No, nothing underneath This is the Collector's 10, they call it. Uh, poster, I guess they call it, or something like that. I don't know what they're calling it. Let me take it out of there. This is a magnet to hang up if you're going to use the magnet there. Put it down below so it doesn't. And here is the little cool collector tin art. That's what I'm going to call it, tin art. So very nice, beautiful looking picture there. Uh, we've seen in the past screenshots there in the back of it. Icon art, that's what they're calling it, icon art. Nintendo, it doesn't have a date. Made in China, but it's still pretty cool. Very nice, like it a lot. So as you can see, there it is closer up. Put that off to the side, so I'll hang that up. The steel tin. Kind of a little bit more of the hieroglyphs. So very cool. Very nice, cool collector's tin. Steelbook.com. Can you see the art back there? So very, very nice. Really like that. The game itself. Well, let's see what this is. This is the pen set. And I hope everyone out there has gotten their copy of whatever they wanted. They wanted just a standard edition or they wanted the collector's edition. I hope everyone is able to get theirs today. And if you're playing, some of my friends are playing the old one. Enjoy playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. It's a fantastic game. Then you eventually can play this. It'll be on sale the time you get it. 
so don't rush enjoy the games for what they are here's the collector's pen set got a little hair there but that is it I'm sure these little symbols will mean something later on in the game when we play it so we'll get to know what those symbols mean but that's the uh, collector's pen set and let's look at back of one of them let's see if I can get out uh, get into my hands on one it's kind of got a little bit of writing back there it's hard to see the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Nintendo no date very hard to see even with glasses on but pretty cool Oh, um, I forgot now. Probably the way I had it. The other way, right? Yep, the other way. I knew I had it upside down. So pretty awesome little pen set. They are made out of metal. And the box itself, nothing special. Tears of the Kingdom. Got the little symbols on it. So pretty cool. Very nice. I like it, uh-huh. So put that back in there. Ooh. Don't break your stuff. It's a tight fit. Which is good, I guess. I probably put it upside down. We'll see. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. And the game. The game, I'm sure it's the same for everybody. Probably the packaging is exactly the same. Front and back. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it is. There's the game. And last but not least, the art book. So let's see here. Oh, it's a heavy art book. Really heavy. Really cool symbol there. I'll open it up real fast so we can see what's inside. Keep bumping the camera. Here is the art book, as you can see. Got some nice little texture to the background there. Very nice, N nice cool back to it. And let's see what's inside here. I'm gonna do this carefully. Some cool little artwork. Definitely pretty awesome. Really nice art book, actually. I wonder if any of this art, or a lot of it's gonna make it into the hardback strategy guide that's coming out, or if it's gonna be different in that book, too. Either way, pretty awesome artwork. I really like looking through these. So I'm gonna look through all this at work the rest of the night some of the fish that's pretty awesome cheese everybody loves cheese yeah, that's pretty awesome some of minecart or something like that it looks like a minecart wow look at that look at that suit Chicken! Uh oh, even back then the chickens attacked people. That looks like an angry chicken. It looks like it's mad. Pretty cool book here, actually. Pretty. D I'm digging the artwork. So that's kind of a pr sample of the art book. This is a huge book. How many pages does it have? 204. So I'll kind of flip through it faster, just kind of skim through it. So if I go through each page, it'll take forever. But as you can see, pretty awesome. I was glad to see when I was there, I was getting worried at first, but finally people started showing up and then I was like, oh man, I'm glad people were excited as much as I am. So I wasn't there that early. I was there like 15, 20 minutes before it opened. And I didn't see a single person there, so I was like, man. But it's inside of a mall, and it's not like a normal store. So maybe people don't uh, get as hyped at those kind of stores. 
But either way, when I, when I was leaving, there was people showing up here and there, and there's probably like 30 to 40 people I saw all hyped up on picking up the game. So pretty awesome. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So a pretty cool art book. Definitely an awesome thing to have. I'm going to keep all this out so I can look at it. Oh, look at that. Huh, that's interesting. The cartoon link. Wonder why. We're, maybe we're going to find out later on. Maybe he's going to have some appearance in there. So, pretty awesome. Now, the most important part is to start playing the game soon. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Hope you get your game. And enjoy your time with it. Like, spend your time. Use your all your imagination to play it. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. I hope everyone has a great time with the uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'll see you in about three months from now. Because <laughs> I know everybody's going to be really focused on grinding this game and having a good time with it. Lost in the world of Hyrule. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. Take care, everybody. And until next time, have a good one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>